This video contains a number of tutorials, both for Mac and PC, relating to producing, uploading, and linking videos. You can use the time codes listed on this slide to jump to the tutorial you wish to watch. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the process of narrating a PowerPoint presentation and then saving it as a video. The first thing you need to do is either create a new presentation or open an existing presentation. You will then need to navigate to the Slideshow tab. When you are ready, you can click on the Record Slideshow button. This will open up a new record window. There are a number of things you should be aware of in this window. In the upper right corner, you have the clear link. This link allows you to delete the narration off the current slide or off the entire presentation. Also, you have a settings link. This link allows you to select your microphone and webcam. The webcam is an optional item. In the lower right hand corner, you have three buttons to toggle on and off. The first one toggles on and off your microphone, which you want to make sure is on when you're recording your presentation. The second one is for your webcam. And finally, there is a button to turn on and off a preview of your video feed. In the upper left corner is the red record button. This turns into the pause button when you are recording. In the middle is the square stop button. And at the end is the triangular replay button. This allows you to listen to the audio on the slide that is currently in focus in the window. Along the bottom of the window are some tools you can use to highlight and mark up your slides during the recording session. When you're ready to record, you can click the record button and navigate through your presentation using either the arrows in the record window or the arrows on your keyboard. You can see the time of each slide as well as the running time of the entire presentation in the lower left corner of the recording window. When you are done, hit the stop button to end the recording. To exit the recording window, click the X in the upper right corner or you can simply press the escape key on your keyboard. When you return to the main PowerPoint window, you will notice speaker icons in each slide. These icons indicate that the slide contains audio narration. If you click on the speaker icon, you can see how long the narration is, as well as listen to the narration of the slide itself. If you need to correct or change the audio on an individual slide, you do not need to re-record the entire presentation. What you will need to do is make sure the slide you want to correct is selected. Then go back to the Slideshow tab and click on the Record Slideshow button. Make sure the slide that appears in the Record window is the one you want to re-record. Then click Clear, Clear Recording on Current Slide, re-record the slide, press the Stop button, and exit out of the Record window. Once you are done narrating your presentation, you'll want to make sure you save the presentation. You'll then need to convert the presentation to a video. To do this, you want to navigate to the File tab and then click Export, Create Video. It is your choice to leave the defaults at Full HD or change it to HD. The first option will create a larger file that will take longer to upload into YouTube. When you are ready, click Create Video and select the name of your video as well as where you want to save it. As the video is being created, you will be able to track its progress in the bottom center part of your PowerPoint window. How long it takes to create the video is dependent upon the length of your narration and how powerful your computer is. I want to leave you with a couple of recording tips. First, write a script or at least an outline so that you can keep your presentations concise. Going down rabbit trails in the classroom can be fun and even educational. But in an online presentation, it usually does not work well. Second, keep your presentation short. We recommend between 7 and 10 minutes each. If you have a lot of information, break it up into bite-sized pieces and use the playlist in YouTube to feed it to your students. Third, record a couple of slides and then listen to them to make sure your mic levels are good. Finally, Pause at the end of each slide before moving on to the next slide so your narration does not get cut off.
In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the process of narrating a PowerPoint presentation and then saving it as a video on a Mac. The first thing you'll need to do is either create a new presentation or open an existing one. Once your presentation is ready, navigate to the Slideshow tab. When you are ready to record, click on the Record Slideshow button. This will then bring you to the recording window. There are a number of things I want to show you in this window. First, you will see on the left side the slide currently being narrated. Above this slide is the running time for the presentation, the pause play button, note that the recording automatically starts when you click the record slideshow button, a reset button which will clear the audio off the current slide and reset the running time, and in the middle is the running time on the current slide. Underneath this slide are the navigation arrows as well as the current slide number and the total number of slides. The right side of the screen shows the next slide in the presentation, as well as the notes panel. Once you have recorded your presentation, hit the pause button and then the end slideshow button in the upper left corner. You will get a pop-up window asking if you want to save the slideshow. Select yes. When you end the slideshow, you will end up in the slide sorter view. In this view, you will be able to see the timing for each slide. Switching to the normal view, you will notice speaker icons on each slide. These icons indicate that the slide contains audio narration. If you click on the speaker icon, you can see how long the narration is as well as listen to it. If you need to correct or change the audio on an individual slide, you do not need to re-record the entire presentation. What you will need to do is make sure the slide you want to correct is selected, then go back to the Slideshow tab, click on the Record Slideshow button, Make sure the slide that appears on the left side is the one you want to re-record. Record your audio, press the pause button, and then click End Slideshow. Once you are done narrating your presentation, you'll want to make sure you save the presentation. You'll then need to convert the presentation to a video. To do this, go to the File menu and select Export. Give the video name and select where you're going to save it. In the File Format drop-down menu, select MP4. In the Quality drop-down menu, you can select either Presentation Quality or Internet Quality. Presentation Quality will give you a larger file, which may take longer to upload into YouTube. When you are ready, click Export. As the video is being created, you will be able to track its progress in the bottom center of the PowerPoint window. How long it takes to create the video is dependent upon the length of your narration and how powerful your computer is. If you want to make a webcam video on your PC, you can use the camera app. You can find the camera app by clicking on the Windows icon in the lower left hand corner of the screen and picking camera out of the list of apps. Once the camera app has opened, you will need to switch it from the picture option to the video option. You do that by clicking on the video camera icon. To record, you click the video button and record your video. When you're done, you click on the button again. Your videos are automatically saved to the camera roll folder, which can be found in the pictures folder. If you want to make a webcam video on your Mac, you can use QuickTime. To make a recording, open QuickTime, go to the File menu, and select New Movie Recording. Click the drop-down arrow next to the Record button to make sure your camera and microphone are selected. To record, click the Record button and create your video. When you are done, click the Stop button. You can then export your video by going to the File menu, clicking Export As, and selecting the appropriate size. Your best choice would be either 720p or 1080p. It is here you can also give your video a name and choose where you want the video to be saved.
In this tutorial, I'll walk you through the process of uploading your video to YouTube and then linking it in your Moodle course. To access your Bethel YouTube account, log into your Bethel email and then click the Google Apps icon in the upper right part of the window and then select YouTube. Once in YouTube, click on the camera create icon to open the upload window. You can then either drag and drop your video into the uploader or you can click the select file button navigate to your video and click open. In the next screen you will be able to add a title. By default the title is the name of the video file. Add a description. Select a thumbnail once the video is processed. Add the video to a playlist. This is a great way to group a number of individual videos that are all related to a particular topic. And finally, you are required by law to say if the video was made for kids. Select No. Click Next again, and on this screen you'll be able to set the visibility for your video. Public means that the video is searchable on YouTube. Unlisted means the video is viewable only via a link. You don't want to select Private because then only you would be able to view the video. Finally, click Save. The next screen will provide you with the URL for the video. You would copy this link if you are using the URL resource in your Moodle course. The URL link opens a video in YouTube. This screen also allows you to copy the embed code for the video. Using the embed code will allow you to add a page resource in Moodle and embed the video so that it displays on its own page. It's a good idea to copy and paste the URL and or embed codes in a Word document. This way you'll have easy access to them when you go to insert the videos in Moodle. If you need to get the URL from a previously posted video, go to YouTube, click on your login icon in the upper right corner, and select YouTube Studio. Click on the video link on the left hand side of the screen, Find your video, and then click on the three vertical dots and select Get Shareable Link. This will provide you with the URL for the video. If you want the embed code, you will need to launch the video and then click on the Share link below the video. This will launch a screen that will enable you to get the embed code. Once your video is loaded into YouTube, you will need to link it in your Moodle course. As described already, you have two options for adding a video to Moodle, a YouTube URL or a YouTube embed code. If you are using the YouTube URL, navigate to your Moodle course and turn editing on. Next, move to the section where you want to place the video, click on Add an Activity or Resource, and then select URL from the list and click Add. Give your URL a name and paste the URL in the appropriate box, then click Save and Return to Course. If you are using the YouTube embed code, navigate to your Moodle course and turn Editing on. Next, move to the section where you want to place the video and click on Add an Activity or Resource, and then select Add a Page from the list and click Add. Give your page a name and in the page content box, click on the icon in the upper left corner. It looks like a line with a 90 degree angle with an arrow pointing down. And then click on the HTML icon. It looks like a less than sign, forward slash greater than sign at the end of the bottom line of options in the editor. You will then paste the embed code in the content box. Click the HTML icon again. and then click Save and Return to Course.